Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Car. So we got one day left in the auction on my 95 Jaguar XJR. And I've decided to go ahead and do a video. I'm gonna answer some last minute questions. Um, I do want you guys to know I am extremely transparent. So you've got my auction to go by. Attached to my auction, you have the previous Bring a Trailer auction where this cold car sold a couple years ago, maybe. I think it had a few thousand less miles. So things that we've done. So let's address the first thing. Somebody wanna know about the cold start video. If you're happy to do it. The car's been sitting here for three or four or five days. You can see there's the manifolds down there. I'm touching them, the car is ice cold. Now, when we do the cold start, Anthony, I think what I want you to do is walk around here and focus on the supercharger area. There's some concern about possible bearing noise. Now, as far as I know, there's not. So we're gonna find out again together here if there is. You can see it's cold. So let's go ahead and start it. I don't hear anything unusual. They're talking about the bearing on the supercharger right there. It sounds very quiet, looks very tight. I'll give you some gas and web a little bit, if you want to hear it rev somewhat. So there's that. The uh, other things, and again, I want you guys to know I'm extremely transparent. The headliner, if you read the auction, unless you bring a trail that missed it, I'll have to go back and look, but it's got a brand new headliner, right? And also, the headliner material on the center is tight, super tight. There's no sagging. Anthony, maybe a little shot up under there if you would. Also, full transparency. We have improved this car. If you read the, uh, the last auction, I believe there's a power window that wasn't working, the seat wasn't working, um, the headliner was sagging, whether they told you that or not. We, uh, we did all those things. We did the full engine bay detail, did an undercarriage detail. There was some, uh, you know how this jag leather gets, get the little, the little hairline cracks, they start cracking a little bit. I had this one seat lightly fogged and repaired, same side on the passenger seat. So if you look at this car, comparing it to the previous auction, okay? This car is way better. Like I said, we did paint correction, engine detail, undercarriage detail. Uh, the wheels weren't cleaned properly. We've got the wheels looking like a million bucks. Seats looking great. I disclosed that there was discoloration on the face of the radio. And also in my driving video, I disclosed that this, the clock lights up, but you don't see the numbers. The numbers aren't coming on there. So you've got that going on. I disclosed some nicks and scratches and chips here and there. I disclosed some paint work. So I'm very, very, very transparent. I've got over 300 pictures. Now this is video number four. So guys, I want you to bid with confidence. Uh, there was one gentleman that asked about if this was the same car that was on consignment for many years at Gateway, I think it was. It is not. Um, it's a teal Jag. They had a teal Jag a few years ago, not the same car. I believe the guy already came back and said apologize for his confusion there, so no big deal. Uh, it is a rare color, so I guess if you see this color here for sale now and you saw one somewhere else, you couldn't mistake it for the same car. It's not. Other than that, I uh, wish you guys the best of luck. I've been very transparent. Again, the only thing that, uh, that uh, I want you guys to just be aware of, there were some chips and nicks here and there that you'd expect on a car this age that I've disclosed. I also disclosed that it was missing a little grill, the lower grill at the bottom. So again, not a big deal, but the, the main thing is, is that when you arrive here, whether you come up and pick it, in per, pick it up in person or you decide to ship it, this car, unless you didn't do your job and look at my pictures and you didn't do your job and, and watch my videos, this car should meet or exceed your expectations. I don't mean that in a rude way, but I do provide, that's my pet peeve, is I wanna make sure that when you get your car, it's exactly how I describe it. I don't want any surprises or anything like that. So let's look, walk around one more time under the forest light. The car looks like a million bucks. I love it. And, 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 I, and I will tell you this, um, 
I bought this car kind of as a surprise for my wife. I used to buy these back in the day. She would drive them as her demos back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And I just on a whim bought it thinking, hey, the wife would love to drive this. And she's like, uh, what's wrong with my Porsche? I, I'm fine with the Porsche. So I guess I was naive to think that I could bring back some memories for her. I guess women don't react the same way that some of us guys can with these cars. But uh, I just thought it would, be a, it would be a neat car to kind of relive some past memories. She thought otherwise, so I said, you know what? I'll prepare the car, improve everything that needs to be done to it, and put it back on Bring a Trailer and see what it does. So that's where we're at. Good luck. About 24 hours to go. Any more questions, call me. Uh, email me through Bring a Trailer. Whatever you want to do, ask questions openly on the forum. I have no, no problem with any of that. Have a great day. Good luck.